our exploration of multimedia concept by the end of this video we will understand what multimedia is its main features advantages and disadvantages and the components that make it all come together imagine you are watching a movie you see people talking you hear background music you read what is written on the screen and sometimes you might see special effects like explosions or animations that's multimedia or think about reading a comic book you see drawing with speech bubbles and sometimes there might be sound effects written out like boom that's also multimedia so what is multimedia multimedia is the combination of different type of media like text audio images animations and videos to tell a story or convey information it's like mixing ingredients to create delicious dishes but instead of food you are using different types of content after gaining basic knowledge about what is multimedia now we can see some examples of multimedia so here list of examples are given these are presentations that is the slide show that combines text image sometime audio video to convey information another one is the website that often incorporate text images videos and interactive elements to engage users another example of multimedia is video games that are combine graphics audio text and sometime live actions to create an immersive experience next uh, another example of multimedia is ebook that is a digital books that may include text image audio and interactive elements next one is interactive multimedia installations that exhibits or installations that combine various media forms to engage audience in uh, museums or art galleries another example of multimedia may be digital art that is uh, art created using digital technologies which may include elements such as images animations sound and interactivity and uh, another example of multimedia is podcast that is audio program that may include interviews discussions music and sound effects mobile and tv shows are also the example of multimedia that is films and television program that combine audio video and sometime text to tell stories or convey information another example is educational software a programs designed to teach or reinforce learning often incorporating text images animations and interactive elements and last one is advertising that is advertisement that combine text images audio and video to promote products or services so these examples illustrate the diverse way in which multimedia can be utilized across various domains for communication entertainment education and art artistic expression now let's talk about the main features of multimedia system this includes digital content a mix of mix of static and dynamic elements computer control unified presentations and user interaction these features make multimedia systems powerful and flexible tools for 
learning and communication now what is digital content so digital content is a uh, uh, is the one of the most important part uh, for the multimedia feature and here we can say digital content as a separate media treated as a separate media that's mean multimedia system use digital information like text picture sound and video but each type is treated separately another main feature of multimedia system is mix of static and dynamics that's mean uh, this system include both things that don't move like text and pictures and the things that do like videos and animation another important feature that is required for multimedia system is computer controlled that's mean computer managed computer control these systems at least for showing the content to users and often also for creating the content next feature of multimedia system is unified presentation that's mean integrated display a key feature is that all different types of media are shown together in one place managed by one by one program or application and last one most important feature of multimedia is user interaction that's mean it should be interactivity the systems interface allows users to interact with the content like clicking on buttons answering questions or playing games so this makes multimedia system powerful and flexible tool for learning and communication if we move forward the advantages and disadvantages of multimedia then on the plus side multimedia makes learning fun provides clear communication allow for interactive learning enables learning anywhere and encourage creativity if we explore that how multimedia makes learning fun then we can see by engaging that's mean multimedia uses pictures sound and videos to make learning more interesting and fun and what will be the result the result is it is memorable that's mean it's easier to remember things when you see them and hear them on the other hand it also provide clear communication that's mean easier to understand the so complex ideas are easier to understand when explained with visual and sounds and uh, it helps to remember also visuals like charts and videos helps in understanding and remembering information another advantage of multimedia is interactive learning through participations multimedia allows you to interact with the content like taking quizzes or playing educational games also it provides learn at your own pace pace you can control how fast you learn and choose what you want to focus on another advantage of multimedia is learning anywhere so through remote learning you can learn from anywhere with multimedia whether at home or on the go and accessibility tools like subtitle and audio descriptions helps everyone including people with disabilities to learn and last one is encourage creativity that's mean multimedia uh, gives an advantage to the people for creative expression multimedia lets you express yourself creatively through the videos animations and other formats and also it is versatile that means it can be used in many fields like education entertainment and marketing on the minus side there are some disadvantages and here are disadvantages or what we can say drawback are that is expensive so expensive here we can measure the expensive 
by using cost to create and need for equipment. So what is the cost to create? Making good multimedia content can be expensive and also time consuming. Also for uh, need for equipments, you might need special softwares and hardware which can be costly. Another disadvantage is technical problem that is compatibility issue. Different devices and formats might not work well together. Also, multimedia content need regular updates and maintenance to stay current and functional. Another disadvantage is access issue. Not everyone has technology. That means some people might not have the necessary devices or internet access to the access to use multimedia. It is important to design multimedia so that it is usable by people with disabilities also. Too much information can be distracting sometimes. Now let's look at the component of multimedia. So here list of the components are given that are the main components of multimedia and these are text, audio, graphics, video and animation. Now come into the text part. What is the importance? Old multimedia productions contain some amount of text and text can vary in font type and size to suit the professional presentation of the multimedia software. What is graphics? Graphics gives you attractiveness. That means graphics make multimedia applications more attractive. People often prefer graphics over large amount of text to understand concept and present background information. So there are two types of graphics that are bitmap image and vector graphics. So what is bitmap image? There are real image captured from device like digital camera or scanner. Bitmap images are usually not editable and require a large amount of memory. Where vector graphics? What is vector graphics? These are drawn on the computer and require less memory. Vector graphics are editable. Another important component of multimedia is that is audio. And what is the role in multimedia? Audio elements including speech, music and sound effects are essential in multimedia applications. Speech is particularly effective for teaching. And different types of audios are analog audio and digital audio. Analog audio that refers to the original sound signal. And what is digital audio? That is sound stored in digital form on a computer. Multimedia applications typically use digital audio. Next component of multimedia is that is video. And what is the definition? Video refers to moving pictures accompanied by sound like what you see on television. And how we can benefit it? Video provides a lot of information in a short amount of time and are useful for showing real objects. Digital video maintain quality can be easily edited and transferred within a computer network. They are they have high demands on computer memory and internet bandwidth. And last one is that is animation. How it process? Animation involves making a static image appear to move by displaying a series of still images is in sequence. And what is the advantage? By animation effectively attract the attention and make presentation 
engaging and appealing. It is widely used in multimedia applications. So these components work together to create engaging and informative multimedia applications. And here is the summary. To sum up, this document provides a comprehensive understanding of multimedia concepts, its advantages and disadvantages, and the components along with features of multimedia systems. It underscores the versatile and impact of multimedia across various sectors and highlights the importance of understanding its key features and implications for effective utilization in learning and communication. Thank you for joining us. We hope this helps you understand the basics of multimedia.